Hey there, I've been talking about doing stuff with the ESP8266, the little Wi-Fi chip. I'm sure I've said the number wrong, I'll have to look at it a bit later. Anyway, this is what I've been tinkering with today. So, I've got my multimeter, uh, a Unity, it's a bit of a cheapie, but it does me just fine. And I've been doing stuff with this. We've got an Arduino Uno, a server motor, and a little board here. So, this little board here, I mean, it is just breaking out Arduino pins to the servo and also a separate battery supply for the servo. Now, I did this originally because I want to work out how I can use a software PWM to control a servo motor. Because, as I understand it, the breakout board I have for the, the, uh, the Wi-Fi chip, uh, which has its own GPIOs, uh, doesn't have the GPIOs with the only single PWM pin. But there are two pins on it which are software GPIO, simple on and off. Um, and I'm wondering, perhaps I could pulse them fast enough using hardware timers to control two servos, ultimately two continuous rotation servos. So this is just a simple Arduino board, um, as in a simple board here, when breaking out two of the pins, and initially just to make sure the servos work and so I could test to see if any of them I had were continuous rotation. I thought I had some, I didn't find any in my box. Um, so just pins 9 and 10, which are already PWM, split out to these with some three pin headers connected to connect the servo. And you'll notice here, and this I'll bring closer to the camera so you can see, there are two diodes here. Now these two diodes are so actually I could power the Arduino from the batteries instead of from a USB port. I mean, I could independently power it. Uh, I got interested in that, really just as a, I don't know, so I could demonstrate it away from the thing. And when I go to the, uh, the Wi-Fi chip, I'll be using a 3-volt regulator. Now, the Arduino Uno runs on 5 volts, or thereabouts. Actually, the uh, 328 on board is a little bit voltage tolerant. So, anywhere between about 4.6, 4.7 and 5.2 volts is probably good enough. And then I've got this battery box, which is uh, 4 AAs. Which is about 6 volts, I mean, give or take, obviously depending upon the age of the batteries. But those give 6 volts, and you can't put 6 volts through the 328, I think you'd probably destroy it. So, two diode drops, each diode drops about 0.6 volts. At least it does when the current is high enough. That then means with two 0.6 volt drops, I've got a 1.2 volt drop, which will bring this voltage down to about 4.8 volts. Now, what I did earlier... Uh, was I sat down and uh, went through some of the calculations of my little one, uh, Helena, who's just learning to add and showed how you add batteries and how you can add diode drops. I also then went and ran the batteries with the multimeter through these two diode drops. And the first thing I did was instead of this uh, Arduino being here, because I didn't want to risk destroying my Arduino board, I used a small resistor. So I'll just go into the robot cupboard, uh, and I should have a resistor suitable here somewhere that I used earlier. So this is a 330 ohm resistor, and that'll give a reasonable enough amount. Um, I didn't write down the calculations. This will probably produce a slightly smaller current, but if it's big enough to, to drive these, so then they give that 1.2 volt drop across them, that'll do. Um, so let's just take away the Arduino's power. And I'll just pop in this resistor going across from this ground over here to the bottom diode drop there. Now if you don't have this resistor, if the only load you have it across is the multimeter, you'll see virtually no diode drop and nothing at all across it. So, first thing is, I've got this set to the 20 volt range. I'll tell you what, let's use a tilting bale. And let's have that facing the camera. Okay, so let's connect the batteries. I will take out the servo for now because it's just clouding the view. Um, and these batteries are giving 6.26 volts. That's close enough. Okay, and if I connect those, so that's now going straight across this resistor. And I'm going to connect that the wrong way up. Let's get this the right way up. So we should see 4.7 volts. Okay, it's close to 4.8 volts. It's good enough, and that will run the Arduino. 
Okay, and if I go halfway up, 5.47, and we go across to here, and we're at our 6 volts, 6.17. Okay, there's a bit of a current drain, so it's probably going to be slightly lower voltage than the open voltage. So, if I take away the resistor, and add back in the Arduino board, and there you are. It's powering up, you can see the lights lighting. It's all working nicely. If we hit the reset, we should see it flashing away. And then I stuck on a bit of simple code just to test sweeping the uh, servos because I just wanted to see that this servo was functional. And there we have it. So the servo is being powered by the board and the Arduino is being powered by the board. So six volts, two diodes. Okay, These are 1N4007 diodes. They're not getting even slightly warm. Uh, there's actually not an awful lot of current going through them. They're uh, each dropping, well, we'll say 0.6 volts. Okay, so we're talking 0.6 volts, around about 78 milliamps or less, because they're not powering this. They're, it's only the diode drop for the Arduino. That works out to be a relatively small number, and we're talking in, in you know, maybe 30, 40 milliwatt per diode. So, that's what I've been working on tonight. Thank you very much. Hopefully, in my next video, I'll be taking us closer to building a robot with that Wi-Fi board. Good night.